Who agrees instead of Men in Black International we should have had an all-female reboot titled Women in Black? I mean, Ocean's 8 did that right a year ago, so why not do the same thing with Men in Black? Men in Black International, or MIB International, the first Men in Black movie not to be directed by Barry Sonnefeld but by F. Gary Gray, and is the fourth instalment in the Men in Black franchise overall, as well as a, a sequel slash spin-off to 2012's Men in Black 3. So Men in Black International tells the story taking place uh, in Europe this time instead of uh, the US, uh, and with our two leads uh, uh, being uh, recasted as uh, Tessa Thompson and uh, Chris Hensworth as they uh, go around uh, Europe uh, uh, fighting aliens. And that's the entire plot. As for my thoughts on the first Men in Black from 1997, clearly a cult classic and Barry Sonnefeld's uh, best movie and by far far the best uh, Men in Black movie to this day. Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones had uh, the strongest chemistry as the defenders of our planet uh, from extraterrestrial enemies. Five years later, Men in Black 2 sucked. Uh, that is one shitty sequel uh, to a cinematic classic. Uh, you can see why the director of Nine Lives directed that movie. Thankfully, the franchise was sort of revived with Men in Black 3 which was uh, better than Men in Black 2 for sure, but still um, not a patch on the first Men in Black by any stretch. So with two sequels that failed to live up uh, to the original, uh, uh, at this point uh, the team behind uh, Men in Black uh, wanted uh, uh, a uh, new director and uh, to take the franchise uh, in a uh, totally different direction, to, to reboot it, to reimagine it. So, to to keep it going and initially you would think uh, a men in black reboots are uh, really this is uh, unnecessary i mean uh, you couldn't top uh, the first men in black with the sequels uh, so why would you think a reboot would but uh, uh, but uh, but at least have the re if it needs to be made at least have the reboots uh, feel uh, original and at least uh, uh, expand uh, on the Men in Black lore and, and universe uh, then you could do more with it uh, and I was not a lot but just slightly interested to see uh, what uh, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hensworth and what F Gary Gray would would do uh, with this franchise and after coming out of um, am I be international, yeah, it's disappointingly lacklustre. At least it's not the worst Men in Black movie, that's still Men in Black 2, but this is one of the lesser Men in Black installments. Uh, but uh, that says I do have uh, some positives uh, for uh, uh, this uh, reboot. Uh, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hensworth, I won't prevent this reboot uh, from receiving a rant. This review could have very well turned out a rant uh, had it not been for Mrs. Thompson and Mr. Hensworth. Uh, their chemistry is utterly flawless as they previously worked uh, in in the MCU on Thor Ragnarok. Uh, this is uh, essentially the Thor Ragnarok uh, version of uh, Men in Black uh, and uh, even Emma Thompson uh, reprises her role from Men in Black 3 and she was one of uh, the uh, greatest characters in that movie and she makes the movie better in the moment she's in. She does add just a little heart to it and even the dog uh, was the, the star of this movie. Yeah, that pug was as cute as they come, uh, which is what uh, made uh, uh, MIB International more bearable than MIB 2, as uh, at least uh, this one has uh, a stronger acting and uh, uh, and more heart. So, but now let's get to all the negatives that plague MIB International, and there are uh, uh, plenty of them. Uh, for one thing, 
this reboot uh, uh, is uh, so samey to the original Men in Black trilogy. At least it takes place in Europe. We get to see London and Paris instead of uh, the, the US this time. So that's uh, some originality, but it's not enough for me. I wanted them to go out into the far reaches of space so, you know, if, if only this franchise would take itself into space for a change, you know, to, uh, you know, to have them visit uh, different alien cultures. In fact, why, why not make some of the aliens good to get the message out that not all aliens are bad and some were misunderstood? Now, that would be a Men in Black uh, uh, storyline that would turn the tables for the franchise, but but no, it's uh, picked uh, the most tired uh, story uh, possible by just having uh, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hensworth uh, kick aliens' asses in, in Europe uh, for uh, uh, the entire run time, and uh, and that uh, is uh, not even uh, entertaining to me. Not even once in this reboot was I laughing at any of the jokes. Uh, was I uh, captivated uh, by the plot? Was I blown away uh, by the action? Uh, or or was even uh, on the edge of my seat? And I, I, I never cares uh, for uh, uh, any of it. Uh, and uh, I was just like, uh, why am I wasting my time with this reboot when I could be watching the original uh, uh, 1997 Men in Black right now? Uh, and uh, and this is uh, and this reboot said, uh, while it's not uh, the atroce the as atrocious as uh, the Amazing Spider Man of movies, uh, it's uh, still. It's still a, an example of how not to do a reboot. Reboots are supposed to feel uh, original uh, from uh, from the franchise uh, that they are rebooting, not uh, just uh, not just copy and uh, paste. Uh, and even the aliens in this movie look god awful. They were laughable. You would think by two thousand nineteen, uh, they they was uh, uh, put their imagination into the aliens uh, for our protagonists to face. Uh, but no, uh, they they have this uh, ant like alien uh, with a, a machine gun, and on paper that sounds freaking awesome. But the execution is uh, uh, super weak. That the alien itself uh, looked dumb. Yeah, I'm, and that's what this reboot is. It's uh, it may be uh, harmless. Uh, uh, it's not uh, uh, tarnishing uh, the Men in Black name or anything. But it's dumb. Uh, it's a completely mediocre and formulaic reboot that doesn't do uh, this franchise uh, that uh, needs uh, uh, assistance at this point to uh, any justice. I give Men in Black International two stars out of five. Meh movie. So yeah, this was one of my shortest reviews this year because there's barely anything to say about this reboot, sir. But uh, I, I wasn't a fan of Thor Ragnarok either. The the one great movie Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth have worked on uh, would be Avengers Endgame. Uh, and I will get uh, to reviewing uh, the uh, original Men in Black trilogy later this year. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. What do you think of Men in Black International? And what's your favourite and least favourite Men in black movie please comment and let me know please like this video and subscribe please follow me on twitter and on instagram and i'll see you next time when i review a legends of awesomeness and remember movies are us bye guys